Imagine living in a world where your entire existence is bounded by colossal walls. These aren't just physical barriers, but also metaphors for the mental and societal constraints we face. Attack on Titan masterfully weaves a tale of humanity caged within these walls, a poignant metaphor for our own lives. Let's just start from the beginning of the show. The story's protagonist, Eren Jaeger, embodies the human spirit's relentless pursuit of freedom. His yearning to break free from the confines of his world mirrors our intrinsic desire to transcend the limitations imposed upon us, be it by society, by circumstance, or by our own fears and insecurities. This struggle is not unique to the realm of fiction. Throughout history, humanity has been plagued with literal and figurative walls. Consider the Iron Curtain during the Cold War, symbolizing not just a political divide, but also the suppression of freedom and the human spirit. The residents of Paradise Island are much like the people who lived in the shadow of such walls, yearning for a glimpse of what lies beyond. Man is born free, and everywhere he is in chains. Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Rousseau's words echo through the series, as our characters struggle against the chains of their reality. The walls in Attack on Titan are more than just fortifications against Titans. They represent the fear of the unknown, the comfort of the familiar, and the human tendency to build barriers, not just around our lands, but around our hearts and minds. Yet the series also shows us the beauty of breaking free. When Eren and his companions venture beyond the walls, they confront not only physical dangers, but also the challenging truths of their world. This journey beyond the known world is a powerful metaphor for our own journey through life. As we confront the unknown and learn to understand and overcome the barriers we face in our world, just like in Attack on Titan, breaking free from our walls is not without risk. It requires courage, resilience, and an unyielding pursuit of what lies beyond our comfort zones. The series challenges us to ask ourselves, what are the walls in our lives? Are they protecting us, or are they keeping us from experiencing the true expanse of our potential? As we journey through Attack on Titan, we are invited to contemplate these walls, both seen and unseen, and the nature of the freedom we so deeply crave. It's a call to introspection, a challenge to confront our own walls, and perhaps a nudge to finally break free. As Attack on Titan reaches its climax in the final season and chapter, the narrative delves into the harrowing complexities of war. The series, which began as a fight for survival against monstrous beings, evolves into a profound exploration of the human condition amidst conflict. Here, we witness the blurring lines between the oppressor and the oppressed, and the moral ambiguities that accompany war. Eren Jaeger, once a symbol of resistance and hope, becomes a contentious figure. His actions, particularly in the later chapters, raise fundamental questions about the nature of war and morality. Is there a clear line between right and wrong in war? Can extreme actions be justified if they are believed to lead to peace? The series presents a stark portrayal of the cycle of hatred. Characters on both sides of the conflict are driven by a deep sense of revenge, perpetuating a cycle that seems inescapable. This cycle is reflective of the endless loops of retaliation we see in our own history, where one act of aggression begets another, often spiraling into prolonged conflicts. War does not determine who is right, only who is left. Bertrand Russell. Russell's words resonate deeply with the narrative of attack on Titan. The final chapters do not romanticize war, Instead, they lay bare its tragic consequences. Lives are lost, families are torn apart, and the psychological scars run deep, both for the characters and the world they inhabit. The complexity of these themes mirrors the tumultuous journey humanity has faced in its own history. Wars, often started with the promise of bringing about change or justice, have left deep wounds and unresolved tensions. The series encourages viewers to reflect on the real-world implications of conflict and the challenging pursuit of peace. Characters from all factions in the series are caught in this cycle. Their actions, driven by past grievances and a thirst for retribution, only serve to perpetuate further violence and suffering. This relentless cycle is reminiscent of Friedrich Nietzsche's concept of eternal recurrence, where history is doomed to repeat itself, and human actions are cyclical and unending. He who fights with monsters should be careful lest he thereby become a monster. Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche's warning rings true in Attack on Titan. As characters seek revenge for past atrocities, they often mirror the very monsters they aim to destroy. This is a stark reminder of the transformative power of hatred, 
not just in the world of the anime, but in our own lives as well. The cycle of hatred and revenge is not confined to fiction. Our history is replete with conflicts fueled by revenge, from family feuds to global wars. Each act of retaliation becomes a justification for the next, trapping societies in a seemingly endless loop of conflict. In its final arc, Attack on Titan bravely tackles the paradox of fighting for peace. It asks us to consider the cost of such a battle and whether true peace can ever be achieved through violence. The characters are faced with impossible choices, reflecting the dilemmas faced by leaders and individuals in times of war. As the story concludes, the remnants of war and its impact on the survivors are evident. The series doesn't offer a simplistic resolution, but leaves us with a haunting question. In the quest for freedom, justice or peace, what are we willing to sacrifice? And at what point does the price become too great? The philosophical journey of Attack on Titan in its final season and chapters is a powerful reminder of the cost of war, the weight of our choices, and the relentless pursuit of a seemingly elusive peace. It's a reflection not just of a fictional world, but of our own, complex, conflicted, and constantly seeking meaning amidst chaos. The series subtly introduces the potential for empathy and understanding to break this cycle. When characters step back from their deep-seated prejudices and seek to understand their perceived enemies, we see a powerful transformation. This mirrors the philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi, who emphasized that an eye for an eye only ends up making the whole world blind. As we come to the end of our journey through the philosophical labyrinth of Attack on Titan, we find ourselves standing at a crossroads of reflection and revelation. This series, more than a tale of survival against monstrous beings, is a profound narrative that holds a mirror to the complexities of human nature and the societies we inhabit. Through its intricate storyline and deeply flawed yet relatable characters, Attack on Titan has dissected themes of freedom, morality, leadership, identity, and the cycles of hatred and revenge. It has shown us that in the face of overwhelming darkness and adversity, there lies the potential for tremendous growth, understanding, and change. As viewers, we've been taken on a journey that transcends the boundaries of a mere animated series. We've been compelled to look within ourselves and question our beliefs, our choices, and the very nature of our existence. The philosophical questions posed by Attack on Titan resonate with the dilemmas we face in our own lives, challenging us to confront the titans within us, our fears, our prejudices, and our limitations. The beauty of philosophy, much like the essence of Attack on Titan, lies in its ability to provoke thought, to stir the soul, and to inspire change. In exploring these themes, we uncover not just the story of a distant fictional world, but the story of humanity in all its glory and tragedy. As we bid farewell to the world of Attack on Titan, we take with us the lessons it has imparted. Lessons about the courage to seek freedom, the complexity of our moral compass, the weight of leadership, the journey towards self-discovery, and the power of breaking the chains of hatred and revenge. Let's all say a massive thank you to Hajime Isayama, who wrote the timeless masterpiece we spoke about today.